Moments ago, Kevin Hart responds to Cat Williams calling him an industry plant on Club Shay Shay. That's right, y'all. For those who missed it yesterday, Cat Williams is on Shannon Sharp's podcast. And of course, he went viral after naming several comedians, right? Uh, that's clearly had issues with Cat over the years or vice versa. You know how it is. And uh, he pretty much wanted to set the record straight. Now, of course, he mentioned Kevin Hart. And uh, this is what he had to say. A uh, guy, Tory, did a beautiful special about the comedy store and Fat Tuesday, where he said that Steve and Cedric and Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish came through there and made all lies. Steve and Cedric never performed at the comedy store at all. Tiffany was only seen at the Laugh Factory in 15 years in Hollywood. No one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy he club. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to L.A. and in his first year in L.A. he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading. No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is? Maybe people don't understand the definitions of these words. He just did his documentary with Chris Rock where he shows you that his whole upbringing in comedy was on the East Coast. Yeah, it was. So how simultaneously was he here in Los Angeles doing the same thing? It didn't happen. It didn't happen. And I, I, I hate to seem like a petty individual for picking apart lies. But Jussie Smollett going to keep lying until you say we don't believe you. Moments ago, Kevin Hart will respond to Cat Williams via Twitter with a post that reads, Got to get that anger about you, champ. It's honestly sad. In the meantime, please enjoy my movie trailer to my next film, Lift, which will be dropping on Netflix in eight days. There is a moment in the trailer where Goo says they really love you. I know she's talking about cat. Laughing emoji. Mark your calendars, world. This one is special. All right. Now, again, that was Kevin Hart responding to Cat Williams calling him an industry plant on Club Shay Shay yesterday. Of course, he just threw a couple jabs, right? Uh, but... Listen, knowing Kevin, I'm, I'm sure he will address uh, Cat Williams at some point. Uh, but let's really talk about it. A lot of people seem to be upset, right? Some people even went as far as to say Cat Williams was messy. Um, but the way I look at it is, you know, this is Cat Williams claiming his history, man, addressing a lot of narratives that have existed when it comes to his career. And when I think about his issues with Kevin, I always think about the Breakfast Club interview where Kevin felt the need to, uh, you know, address uh, Cat Williams criticizing comedians that he's worked with, right? Uh, Tiffany Haddish. You know, there's a list of comedians that he name dropped in, you know, another interview. And Kevin Hart, I can understand him defending, right, the people that he's worked with. But while doing so, you kind of threw him under the bus as if, you know, stating that Cat Williams had a drug problem. That's what ruined his career. And I think that's the part to this day that Cat Williams, he just takes it personal. You know, me, I feel like the comedy game need both of y'all, right? Because there's a, another generation of comedians who are, you know, coming on the scene a little different. They're using social media as as the, the means to go viral. And they need all of the, the guidance from the OGs. So I can't be mad uh, at the fact that Cat Williams felt the need to respond to all of these narratives. And now that he's got that out the way... I just wish at some point moving forward, Kat and Kevin Hart can come together and figure out a way where they can both use both of their platforms to help, uh, you know, push the stand up comedy realm because it's needed. Both of their presence. Right. And shout out to all of the comedians who don't get they just do, because at the end of the day, everyone has a right to defend their name. Right. And claim their history. You know, somebody puts some misinformation out in regards to you and your career. You have a right to defend yourself. And I feel like a lot of that was Cat responding to these things, you know, and he's being a comedian. So we got to be honest in that regard as well. He's not just going to give you a simple interview. No, he's going to be Cat Williams. And he did that epic interview, classic interview. Shout out to Shannon Sharp. But listen, I'm going to leave you this clip of Kevin Hart speaking on Cat Williams on The Breakfast Club. And you'll get an understanding why Cat Williams, you know, continuously makes remarks in regards to Kevin Hart. And, and you let me know.
How do you feel about Kevin Hart, Cat Williams coming together and moving forward? Do you think that's a good idea for stand-up comedy? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. But that's all I got for y'all today. My name is Sensei Rip. Till next time, peace. Frustration with Cat Williams comes from you keep pointing at Hollywood. Hollywood this, the white man, this, this, and this. When do you take responsibility for your actions? You had the shot. Cat was in that position at one you point. You were the guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You were set up to be the star. You didn't show up to work. You off promo shoots. You uh, trips that they had set up for you. You became a risk to the studios, which is why the studios with you. Why was he a risk? He chose drugs. Oh, okay. Take responsibility for what you chose and say, you know what? I got to fix me and I'm going to come back and I'm going to stand up for comedy. You have to be a true swimmer to understand that part of fighting the rip current doesn't require fighting at all. <laughs> um, quick quicksand is like, that the more energy you put into it, the more it's going to bring you down. Mm -hmm. you know? um, the blessing in all of it is that whatever you thought terrible about me, you're never going to see the evidence of that. God. So mm -hmm. even if you said, hey, Cat Williams is on drugs, every time you see me, I'm going to look better than I did the last time you saw me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are not the effects of drugs, mm -hmm. um, the type of clarity that I present. If they can't build you up, they only got one other year. Um, so mm -hmm. their job is to say, hey, he got arrested for this. But they don't have the same energy to say, hey, we dropped the charges because none of it was true. They'll mm -hmm. just act like exactly. <laughs> you mm -hmm. somehow got away with it or something. But um, the people that are on the Internet are still real people. So mm -hmm. I don't care whether you're right or wrong. I just care how you feel. And um, uh, for the people that are in my corner, they know that at the end of the day, I'm never going to do anything that makes us look bad because mm -hmm. us is all I got. Mm -hmm. And on the other token, they've got to at some point think I'm dead for it to be called playing possum. Mm -hmm. And it's what happens after that. The fact that whatever you label me with, why couldn't you beat that guy? Like none mm -hmm. of it applies to you. Mm -hmm. You're not going to jail and you're not, they're not saying anything about you. So mm -hmm. why can't you beat it? <laughs> yeah. All right, we the knockout kings of karma. This your boy, Reggie Curl, you know what I'm saying? This is my cousin, Crunch, you know what I'm saying? He's coming by. Me old, you the I didn't even want my man to eat my because I eat meat from Aldi's. The wrong with you? Aldi's, you should eat this. We don't know what the that meat is. Yeah. For real, I heard a nigga get in prison. That's not the the part about it. The part about it is he had the audacity to ask me why I ain't helping my ain't no point of both us get. Look him right in his eyes. <laughs> he go to pat me down. Twenty dollars, homeboy. I'm like, <laughs> no. no sir.